Coming back with some positive local news, Rockford is now on the map for sports on the national collegiate level. It's the first time our region will host a Division I Women's Basketball Championship Tournament. And pretty exciting. 13 News reporter Cassandra Brettel shows us how, in just one month, the UW Sports Factory is making it happen. The Forest City is a big basketball town. Take a look at Fred Van Vliet and the work that he's doing this year in the NBA. And now that uh, especially our young girls are going to be able to have something to aspire to right here. The national stage is going to be right here in Rockford uh, and not just young girls, uh, young children. And that love of the game can now be shared at a national level. Triple Crown Sports selected the UW Sports Factory as a host for the postseason women's national invitational tournament. One. I already feel like I am part of the Rockford family. Normally, the NIT's postseason would include more than 60 teams at participating universities. But this year, just over 30 teams will compete at four different sites. The Rockford Park District says watching eight teams compete on the courts downtown will guide youth toward their dreams. You're striving to get to the college level, and to be able to see that means you can achieve it. The Park District's operations director, Danielle Potter, says about 150 to 200 fans will be allowed into the building come March 19th. Many of them will be staying at the brand new Embassy Suites Hotel right across the river, exactly how we plan this. And then they'll be able to walk up and down our beautiful downtown with so many locally owned shops. The visitors who spend dollars, who enhance our reputation, who improve our economy, and who get people back to work. Bringing new life into Rockford and building a local economy that's here to stay. For your 13 Weather Authority, Cassandra Brettel, 13 News. The tournament begins March 19th. Tickets will be sold in advance. In more positive local news. Your family is invited to movie night at Lockwood Park. Tomorrow is the Rockford Park District's drive-in movie night. Parking lot opens at 5 p.m. Movie starts at 6. Tomorrow's night's movie will be the animated film Ferdinand. Tickets are just 12 bucks per car. And you can get out in the great outdoors this weekend with 815 Outside. It's a group that hosts group hikes in Rockford. This Sunday, 815 Outside will explore Funderburg Forest Preserve. Hike is 2 until 2.30. A great weekend for it. It is free. On top of the much warmer temperatures, a lot of clear sky lately has allowed us to see some pretty good sunrises and sunsets, including today. This photo taken by uh, Don Balsam on the Rock River. Beautiful sunset there as uh, the river clear of ice, as you can see, thanks to the thawing weather that we've had lately. Look for photos like these on our 13 Weather Authority photo community on Facebook. Because of the clear conditions, though, we are dropping off pretty quickly. Temperatures were near 40 degrees a few hours earlier today. Now we're down into the upper 20s and we continue to stay on this steep trajectory going into the night. Dropping about another 10 degrees, we're down to about 19 under a partly cloudy to mostly clear sky. May see some patchy fog late tonight, just like we saw as of last night. Winds are pretty light, though, so wind chill shouldn't be as much of a factor going into the morning. But as you can see, warm days, but some still chilly nights sticking around. Uh, we're only in the 20s early after sunrise, but we'll quickly warm up from there. We should be back above freezing after about 10 o'clock. And then into the 40s, heading into the noon hour tomorrow under a bright, sunny sky. Expected to see more 40-degree readings around the state line. A lot of places fell just short today. We should be back into the low 40s widespread across the state line. Thanks to breezy winds and that partly cloudy sky. The mild weather does stay just warm enough for rain showers starting tomorrow evening. Should be just too warm for freezing rain. However, even though we're warm enough at the surface, uh, snow may still mix in at times because of the freezing temperatures up in the clouds. So, so don't be surprised if you see some snowflakes, but little to no accumulation as we go throughout tomorrow's soggy evening. Here we are at 630 tomorrow and looking dry and cloudy. Showers moving in closer to 9 o'clock tomorrow night, so it may take a little while for those rain showers to arrive, but eventually they do move on in. You can see closer to midnight, a little snow trying to mix in across southern Wisconsin. So again, I wouldn't be surprised if we got a couple snowflakes out of the deal. After midnight, we should be drying